I've always pondered this question about how you sustain Aboriginal people, our sense of identity and our sense of culture and our sense of place and the role of an Aboriginal economy that underpins the sort of aspirations that we have as a people. Our way of living in the past hasn't been with money and everything is still new and only mm. generations young. Mainstream mightn't lend money as much as a lot of us do to family. That's a good way with my mullet to put that money in the bank and teach, teach others how to save and, and get that car, get that house they want to get or even buy a, a push bike for the kids. We have to pull up a little bit to keep ourselves on the right track you know, and helping them doing by doing that too. You feel uncomfortable discussing um, your lack of um, being able to cope, monetary and other ways. When I did the My Miller program, I was able to just, I didn't have any shame or I didn't have anything that I had to be embarrassed about. We're just ourselves when we're in the workshops. That way people just relate to you the same way they do here at the football ground or on the netball court. They covered all areas from budgeting to looking at buying a house, buying a car or something that you want to buy for yourself. How to save, um, set up multiple bank accounts, um, how to pay your bills on time. I like I sort of look at something now and stop and think and go, do I want it or do I need it? Yeah. Budgeting was my main thing and not just myself but uh, my daughter, yeah, so what I took out of it, I pushed it onto her and at the moment, yeah, we seem to go along a lot easier financially. The main thing for, for me was the realisation that I could um, be financially stable and achieve financial goals that I never ever thought were possible for me. Actually, I'm banking a bit of money for a holiday. The success of it is it's actually driven and owned by um, local Indigenous people. When you're with your own mob, you don't feel like they're judging you. You can say what you need to say and you don't think, you know, you know it's not going to go anywhere else. I guess it's build that confidence to speak up with, if you get knocked back, you can challenge them. Most importantly, I was able to purchase a home that I was financially able to do that. It's a matter of working with the groups that we work with at their pace and not our pace. When they sit down at the table and realise, hold on a minute, they're not talking about money straight up, they start taking a little bit of time then to adjust and thinking about themselves that you don't get to do in normal everyday life. My Moolah works in that environment about how do you become aspirational, how do you set your strategies, how do you be resourced to, to um, make it work for you. Thinking about the future, Thinking about generational change. My mum was born, you know, out in the bush with dirt floors, hessian bags and tin roof. And now what I'm able to now provide, you know, generations on, my daughter is learning how to save and hopefully we'll be on an equal playing field. We've started that ripple effect through the My Miller program to be included and, be, and have equal rights and equality.